Hi folks, just thought I'd show you my little 5 ohm potential meter I put on the front of my stock Phantom and it controls my Aris CM2000 gimbal. As you can see, if I go fast, the gimbal moves fast. If I go slow, the gimbal moves slow. And I can position it anywhere in between. How did I do it? Well, on the stock Phantom transmitter on the back, you have a, another channel here. And what I did is I opened it up and I desoldered the little potential meter on the circuit board inside. And then I ran three wires up to this little 5 ohm one. And I drilled a little hole and uh, I popped it on the outside. So when you're flying now, you can get some uh, really cool shots. Now, how did I uh, hook it up to the NASA? On this gimbal, I have two wires. I have the black, which is common, and this yellow one, it runs up into the, uh, or both run up into the NASA F2. So this is the pitch control. And in the NASA software, I set the pitch uh, at 0.00, because you don't want no information being sent down uh, by the NASA. And the software that comes with uh, this gimbal, I um, opened that up, and I set it at 10 for my pitch, so the camera just slightly tilts forward a little bit, and I set it at 85, uh, so when it's looking straight down. You can actually make it look up, and you can make it look uh, even further back, but I didn't want that. So now, as you're flying around, you can tilt the camera up and down. If you have a transmitter with a uh, knob already on it, you can probably just get into the menu and uh, program it and you won't have to do this modification but I did this with just with a standard phantom transmitter right thanks for watching and see you next time